Hi everyone, today we will talk about acquisition worksheet uh, in Business Central, how you can find a template, uh, one template for uh, a normal worksheet, uh, and order for the recurring requisition worksheet. Uh, how you can create this, and also uh, I will go through and show you an uh, example how to calculate this for one specific task. Please uh, subscribe my channel, add your comments. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you may have in relation to requisition worksheet or other uh, subjects in business. So let's go to business central and see how we can uh, work with requisition worksheet in business. So here, uh, let's go to the template first and see how how we can uh, uh, set up this. So here in Purchase, we have a specific item for requisition worksheet template. So here you can see that I have uh, this uh, uh, worksheet. Uh, and then I have the recurring that is, is just the that uh, uh, you, you need to define if you want to use this as a recurring. Uh, and also what you can do here if you edit is specify if you want to increment the batch name uh, automatically. That means that the number uh, will be increased automatically. Okay. Uh, so basically, he is that you just define what is the name uh, or, or the code and the, the, the name of your uh, uh, worksheet template. Uh, and then in order to execute the process, what you need to do is just go to the requisition. So you can see here as a task. So you, you uh, access uh, this page uh, and then what you what you can do here is first uh, calculate the planning so let's click here uh, you can what you can do here uh, you can define your start date and your end date so let's see that uh, we will calculate from the beginning until the end of the month uh, usually you can calculate this by week, right? Usually it's not one month, but okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, in our example here, I will just uh, select one item, so it's already here, we will skip, I will just go if the paint ready. Uh, and one thing here, maybe it's nice to show. Okay. Okay, that's the item. I will just access this uh, card just to show you that uh, in order to calculate the, the planning in, in, in the requisition, what, what we need uh, to have. Uh, so basically, you need to have the month, right? So in this case, here, what I did is just, uh, uh, I just specify here my safe save a stock quantity so in this way when i run um uh, i can uh, the system can calculate uh, demand for this item i don't have any item in, in the stock so uh so let's go so move on back calculate i select the item uh, you can also he select the location in this case I didn't, uh, my setup is not by location, so I will keep like that. Uh, 
uh, and of course if you use a forecast it's something that you can go and select uh, and then let's see how this works so let's calculate okay create a line you can see uh, that is an a new action uh, you can see there is no location uh, and also e the quantity that is my uh, minimum stock or my safety stock okay so basically he uh, the system calculate i'm good with that I, uh, that is okay our uh, next step he is if you are okay you click here and then uh, you click OK. And if our setup is OK, the system will create a um, purchase document for that. OK, all good. Uh, the process was created. So let's go here. Okay, first I will go to the item. Mm -hmm. You can see here that we have uh, now a uh, quantity on purchase order that is basically uh, the requisition that we create. So let's just access here and see this. Okay, so document. Okay. Okay, and here it's quite simple. Uh, you just have to specify the bounded number if you want to post this. Uh, so let's post to complete the process. Okay. Okay, task group has to have a value. So, um, this is something that we need to add in order to okay i will not uh, add the setup here uh, it's, it's basically uh, uh, you you need to add this setup in order to to move on I will keep like that, but of course that we can go to the item and add the task group or we can also add here uh, if you want. So let's put non-text both here and uh, oops. And also you can go to the item and add uh, this setup so uh, in this way next time you will not have the same problem okay. it's the best way okay so he we have uh, the purchase also posted with no tax and is that so basically uh, the way to use the uh, requisition uh, worksheet in Business Central it's quite simple uh, you just have to add uh, the setup and of course if you are working with uh, items that uh, have demand like uh, um, finish uh, items that you have sales order uh, the system you use the same criteria right we will consider uh, if you have uh, 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 a sales order, 
uh, if you have uh, uh, a safety stock uh, uh, um, configured and then based on this and uh, uh, they will calculate uh, your demand or, or basically the quantity of items that you need to buy okay so basically is that please subscribe my channel add your comment i'm more than happy to answer any questions that you uh, may have thank you and see you next video